Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Brinker here and I'm going to show you fifth graders how you are going to continue to work on your self-portraits inspired by Chuck Close. So far you've probably made a drawing of yourself with pencil um, using correct proportions, so dividing the face in half one way and then the other. So it maybe looked something like this where you drew your oval like so. Then you added a neck and some shoulders and then you divided your face in half vertically and then horizontally and added your eyebrows at about that horizontal line that's about halfway down and some eyes that might be almond shaped or you can use your mirror to figure that out Add an eyelid, part of your circle for your iris and your pupil. Then you divided this bottom half in half again, and that's where your the bottom of your nose ends up. Like so. And then your mouth, the corner of your lips, lines up with the middle of your eyes. I like to draw the middle lip line first, then the top lip. And we all have lips that look a little bit different, so you can use your mirror to look at your lips and see how they look. Your bottom lip. And then your ears go in, in between your eyes and your nose. And your hair actually comes down your forehead. A lot of people like to draw hair just like this, sticking up the top of their head. But it actually comes down your forehead. Like so. All right, and once you have your face the way you like it with pencil, this is, might be where you're starting today, you can outline everything with Sharpie. Your hair, you're just gonna outline the basic shape of it and then you might add a few lines on the inside. You don't have to color anything in today. We're just outlining and we're gonna do a special kind of coloring next time. And so on. So eventually your whole face will be outlined in Sharpie and then you're going to use your eraser and erase all the pencil lines that are left behind, including the horizontal and vertical lines. You don't want to go over those with Sharpie. You want to make sure you erase all those pencil lines. And then you're going to use your ruler to create a grid. So I'm going to take my ruler and line it up with the edge of my paper really carefully. Use the letter L with two fingers push down and draw a line and then line up my ruler again push down draw another line and keep lining up my ruler all the way across now your ruler might want to start to do this go diagonal don't let it do that try and keep your ruler as straight up and down as possible And your last box might be a little big or small and that's okay. Then you're going to line up your ruler with the top of your paper and do the same thing horizontally. Alright, so once you have boxes all the way up and down, it might look something like this. And then in the boxes you get to draw shapes. So it's up to you what shapes you want to draw. Chuck Close does those kind of concentric circle shapes. You could do some of those. But you also can be creative and draw some shapes that maybe tell us a little